Hello and welcome to this section of the MATLAB Tutor. Uh, here we're going to continue working with matrices and learn how to add them, how to subtract them, and how to multiply them by a scalar. And um, if you haven't already, you really should watch all the lessons on vectors that we did several sections ago because most of this matrix stuff is sort of a direct extension of that. So go and, and look at those if you haven't already. So adding and subtracting uh, matrices is very straightforward. So let's just do a, a, enter a couple of quick matrices in to see how it works. Uh, we'll create um, matrix 1 equals open bracket. Uh, let's make it a 3 by 4 matrix. So we'll do uh, 3 rows and 4 columns. So this is the first uh, row. This is the second row. Uh, what did I say? Three rows and four columns. So we'll do, you know, uh, negative four, zero, negative one, negative two. So that'll be our our third uh, third row. So there's the first row, there's the second row, there's the third row. There's my matrix, and I'm going to edit this basically, call it matrix two, and the next one we'll just well just to make it easy, just to make just make sure there's no overlap. Uh, let's do it like this. Let's create a matrix. Let's do something crazy. Let's create a matrix of all ones. One, 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 semicolon. Uh, well, let's do the next row. Let's do twos. Two, 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 two. And then we'll do three, 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 three. So that's a pretty simple matrix to create. Uh, and that is unbalanced. Look what I did at the end there. I have an extra bracket. So MATLAB will try to tell you when you did something wrong. And so there's my matrix two. So here I have. Let me clear it out. Matrix one, matrix two. So these are the two matrices that I created, all right? So if you want to add these matrices together, it's just as simple, matrix one plus matrix two. And so what's gonna happen when we hit enter is we're going to get another matrix back. That's going to be the sum of these two matrices. Now, for those of you who have studied matrices, which is probably everybody watching this video, the only way you can really add matrices together is if they're exactly the same dimensions. That means matrix one has three rows and four columns. Matrix two has three rows and four columns. So when they match exactly, when you add a matrix to another matrix, what you're doing is you're adding elements. So the first element, in the first row in the first column is added to the first element in the first row in the first column there so 2 plus 1 is 3 so this guy is going to be added to this guy giving you 4 and so on 4 and 1 is 5 and if you go down to the bottom of the matrix this one plus this one is going to give you a positive 1 you know this one plus this one is going to give you positive 2 and so on so it's going element by element and just adding them together now you can subtract these guys as well and exactly the same thing happens. You're taking matrix 1 and you're subtracting from it matrix 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1. If you go down here where you have 0, 0 minus 3 gives us negative 3. So it's going element by element and it's adding these guys together. Now let me clear the screen and let me create matrix 3. And I'll set this equal to uh, 3 space 4 space 5. 4, 4, 4, 0, 1, 2, like this. Okay, so there's matrix 3. So let me clear the screen. So let me show you matrix 1 and matrix 3. So these matrices look different, right? I mean, this guy has three rows and four columns. This guy has three rows and three columns. Do you think you're going to be able to add these together? Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what MATLAB says. Plus matrix so we try to add them together and MATLAB says error using addition, that's what that means, matrix dimensions must agree. So it's unable to add these together because they don't match. The shape of the matrices don't look the same. So um, it has to have the same number of rows and the same number of columns. Um, and if it doesn't, then you're not able to add them. And that's, a, that's not a MATLAB thing, that's a mathematical thing. You can't add them by hand. Um, you can't just add these elements. To, to these elements here and just forget about the fourth column. You just can't do that. So they have to agree if you're going to add them or subtract them. So um, that's adding and subtracting matrices. Now mul multiplying matrices by a scalar is very simple. We've already done that before. So let's let's pull up uh, matrix one. If I wanted to multiply matrix one by five, I'll just literally type in uh, five times matrix one. Uh, and what it's going to do is multiply, again, every element, element by element, by the number 5. It's kind of like distributing the number 5 into each element. So 5 times 2 is 10. Down here, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. You know, over here, 5 times 6 is 30, and so on. 
and it doesn't it obviously doesn't matter if you do five times matrix one or matrix one times five it's the same thing it doesn't matter it's just like three times four is the same as four times three so you can enter it any way you want you can also multiply by any constants you know pi times matrix one is going to work out remember the um, the matrix three that we created was a slightly different shape so it works for whatever shape you have uh, pi times matrix three so it's going to take 3.14 and so on and multiply by each of the elements in there so anytime you're multiplying by a number whether it's a regular whole number or something like pi it's just distributing it in now the same thing holds true of um, imaginary numbers if I want to take I times matrix 2 it's gonna multiply the imaginary number I times every element in matrix 2 and so if you pull up matrix 2 this is what we originally had so 1 times I gives us I and everything is the same here uh, 2 times I is 2I and so on um, so multiplying by a scalar even when that scalar is a, co co a complex number or in this case it was just a pure imaginary number uh, is fine. In fact, you can even get a little bit more crazy. Let's just wrap a parentheses around this so we make sure we do it right. 2 minus 3i times matrix 3. So this is what we call, you know, a complex number. It has a real part and has an imaginary part uh, there. We can multiply that by a matrix no problem. MATLAB is going to distribute this complex number into each element. And let's just pull up matrix 3 so you can see for reference. So for this guy we have 3 times 2 minus 3i is going to give you 6 minus 9i. And so it's basically doing it exactly as you would do it by hand. Now of course um, we can you know combine these things together so I can do you know um, instead of this guy I can multiply it times and then instead of matrix 3 I'll do matrix 1 plus matrix uh, 2 minus 2 times matrix you know two I know it's a little silly but basically what's happening here is I take matrix one and I'm adding it to matrix two and then I'm subtracting two times matrix one this is a scalar right so what's going to end up happening is the two times the matrix is going to happen uh, and, and, and that we've already done that sort of separately so we're going to get a new matrix there and then I'm going to do this addition and subtraction kind of in sequence just like order of operations this is going to give me a matrix on the inside and then I'm going to multiply by everything on the outside there and so MATLAB handles that just fine of course all the answers are complex because I see it here and for some reason if this is hard for you to read if these complex numbers are difficult for you to read you can just go over here the last answer is what was just calculated that's always stored here as the last answer you can double click it and then you can go over here and read everything if you need to space things out maybe you have a giant matrix maybe it's 50 elements long or something like that so I hope you've enjoyed this section make sure you understand how to uh, add and subtract matrices the main thing is they have to be the same size If they're not the same size the same dimensions it's not going to work you can multiply matrices by scalar numbers complex numbers you know pure imaginary numbers irrational numbers like pi and it's all just fine uh, here in the next couple sections we'll learn about how to multiply matrices times other matrices which is an important topic all by itself